Hi guys and welcome to our first Key Stage 2 writing lesson. Right, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you through what I expect you to do. I'm going to take you through what you need to do and then we're going to watch a bit of a video and we're going to get some of our ideas down. Now these ideas are going to be used a bit later on um, when we start our writing. But don't worry about that, this is our first lesson. We are going to be focusing today on writing for a range of purposes. Now, with this, what we are looking at is we're going to be looking at writing a short story. All will become clear in the next couple of minutes. We're going to be looking at creating an atmosphere. We're going to be looking at our dialogue, vocabulary, grammatical structures. We're going to be using a range of devices, cohesive devices, adverbials. Um, we're going to be making sure that our paragraphs, they are cohesive and they link. Passive and modal verbs, don't worry about that. If you don't know what they are, we're going to come onto that soon. We're using a wide range of clause structures. I'm going to show you how to do that too. Adverbs, prepositions, expanded nouns, all that good stuff. We're going to be using inverted commas, commas for clarity and punctuation for parenthesis. We're also going to be spelling most of our words correctly. I can't help you with that one. If you need to be able to do that, you need to get a dictionary. And I expect you to write neatly at all times and join up your handwriting. But first, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at this video. Now, there is a link here, you can see on your screen there, but there is also a link down below. So if you look down below, it's the eye of the storm and that is another YouTube video, but we're going to have a go for it together. If you want to go to the literacy shed, which should take a couple of seconds to go up. Now, when we are watching this video together, what I would like you to do is be thinking all about the video itself. And also, if you fancy it, have a look here at the literacy shed.com, the fancy shed and have a look at some of those other videos. But for now, we're going to start with I of the storm. We're going to be using this as our main inspiration for our writing and at the end of our writing of our story we're also going to be using it for a letter writing as well. Now I don't know if you guys are getting the sound on this, if not please go and have a look at the video itself. But what I want you thinking about in this is the who, what, where, when, why and how. So we're going to see in a moment the start of the video. We're looking around and we can see an amazing dystopian landscape. We're up in the clouds. Who is it having a look and what are they looking at? Well that will become clear in just a moment. We're having a look now at our character. This is our main character. He's not going to speak, we're not going to know much about him, but we are going to be writing an amazing story. You're going to be coming up with your own ideas about who he is, why he might have a dragon and where he might be going. Have a look at his movement, that's going to be important later. And later on in the story as well, we're going to be describing the ship and how it moves through the sky. But right now, just focusing on the things that are happening at the moment, like what is this green liquid? Where is it going? What is happening? Is he getting there quicker? Is he destroying evidence? Maybe. We don't know. We can look at the glowing eyes, we can look at his kind of almost steampunk look to him, the gloves, the black gloves with the slightly too long fingers, maybe they're too big, the highlights on his coat, he's thinking about this box, is he going to throw it in the furnace, what do we think? You see it there disappearing through the clouds. That's going to come, become important a little bit later on, but not right now. We don't have to worry about that just yet. And here comes the storm as he heads to the centre of it. The landscape's changed now completely. The weather has changed how we feel about it. We've got almost like a glowing sense about him. We've got his dragon again. struggling to get to where he needs to go to. And as you guys probably know, the eye of the storm is the calm part within the storm. And we're awake and we're heading towards the eye of the storm. And what are you thinking about? Where is he going? 
What is it the eye of the storm? Is he trying to get back to somewhere? Is he trying to get away from somewhere? What is it that we are looking at here with this eye of the storm? Who could he be? What could he be doing? Why could he be doing what he's doing? Is it now? Is it in the future? Is it in the past? Is it a completely parallel universe? We don't know. But that's what you guys are going to come up with. It's not about what I'm going to tell you to do. It's about I'm going to help you step by step with the structure of the story. Like all the events in the story, all the whys and the wherefores, all the reasons why he's doing what he's doing, or she, why he or she is doing what they're doing, where they're going, that is all going to be down to you. Now we're coming up to the ending part. He's setting his course for right in the eye of the storm, that green glowing light. Why might he be going there? What might he need to get to? He's going full power. And away he goes and in he goes. We have no idea what's on the other side. That's up to your imagination. We have no idea what is going on, why. That's up to you as well. And here we go. This is my favorite bit, the big zoom out. Forward he goes. And very annoyingly for some of you, and very mysteriously, that is where it ends. So, We've come out of there, we've done that bit now. We'll come back out of there, we'll go back to our PowerPoint, Let's turn that off. And we're gonna go now down to here. So what I want you thinking about is who, what, where, when and why. This is your task for today. So get yourself a piece of paper, I want you to think about who he is, and you don't just need to write words, you can write sentences. Who do you think this person is or she is? I've come up with a few ideas, it could be an explorer, could be a survivor of something. We don't know what, but you can add more detail to that. Could be a scientist. Could be some form of alien or maybe even a robot. It's up to you. You get to choose that completely. We then go to the what. What is he doing? Is he taking the dragon home? I don't know. What is she doing? Is she, is she trying to get somewhere? Or running away from something? Trying to get back to somewhere? So that's up to you again. Write the who, write the what, the why. Maybe they're trying to save the world. Maybe they're trying to right or wrong. Maybe the world is the way it is because of something they've done. We don't know, but we're gonna be looking at that in a flashback later on in our story, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Today, we are just doing the notes. Let's take down these notes. When is it happening? Is it in the past? Is it in the future? Is it now? And where is it happening? I think it could be maybe in space. We look, maybe that's why he's wearing the protective gear. Maybe it's on Earth, maybe Earth in the future. Maybe it could be an alternate reality. So I've given you a few ideas, but I don't want to go into too much. What I would really, really like you guys to do is think about exactly what it is you want to do, exactly who, what, why, when, and where. We do this at the start of lessons, we get our ideas together, we start thinking about it. Now, we are also going to be moving on in our next lesson. Once we've done that, we're going to be thinking about the different areas of what we're doing. So tomorrow, we're going to be describing the character. Then after that, we're going to do a bit of flashback. We're going to tell us, tell us all about the character and maybe why they're doing what they're doing. Then we're going to describe the setting. That comes over here. Um, describing the setting, I'll take you through it step by step by step. Then the day after that, we're going to do the build up. Why is he flying into the storm? Again, these are your ideas, but I'll help you out as much as I can. What is the problem? Well, it's him entering the storm. And what problems does he have around that? And then we're going to go to the resolution. What happens after the storm? Then at the end, if you're still here and you're still with me, we're going to do some letter writing to finish it off. So tomorrow's lesson, we're going to do describing the character. We should get that done in one lesson. Then we're going to go to the flashback. That will probably take you a couple of days. So please don't go too far ahead. But follow along, subscribe so you don't miss any of these. And if you give it a like, let me know if I'm doing the right thing. That would be really helpful. So we're looking at Eye of the Storm. We're doing our short story. And remember, the links are below. Watch the video a couple of times. See what you think of the video. And make sure that you are doing your absolute best writing. Right, stay safe, guys. Remember, wash your hands, and I'll see you soon.